Warren Buffett, also known as the Oracle of Omaha, is widely regarded as the greatest successful value investor in the history of the world. Buffett has had a long and distinguished career and is widely regarded as an exceptional decision maker. However, his lifestyle isn't like that of a billionaire. You'll be surprised to know how he lives his life. So let's dive in. Omaha, Nebraska is where Warren Buffett spent his childhood. Buffett has maintained his residence in his home state until now. He spent $30,000 on purchasing his house in 1958 and has remained a resident there ever since. Most of the investor's time is spent reading and sleeping, allowing him to amass a net worth of exceeding $100 billion. Warren Buffett is well known for the frugality with which he conducts his financial affairs. His early years offer a window into how one of the world's richest and most powerful individuals came to be. The desire, ingenuity, and creativity that Buffett's childhood instilled in him have helped him construct a financial empire and experience great success. At age 5, he started his first business, and at the age of 11, he bought his first stock. 1,000 Ways to Make $1,000 was Buffett's favorite book as a child because it taught him the importance of compound interest and motivated him to engage in various business pursuits. Young Buffett showed off his tireless work ethic by working long hours at numerous jobs, including delivering newspapers, collecting money from recycled Coke bottles, and selling lemonade. Buffett was known for placing smart bets on horse races even before he had a reputation for making smart investments. He even started tip sheets at his local racetrack, and his friends noted his growing interest in statistics. Likes math, a future stockbroker, reads the caption for his high school yearbook photo. They were right. Buffett, who prefers a more relaxed attitude to life, does not live the lifestyle typical of other billionaires in society. Genius and rich folks are usually known to be active at night, but for Warren Buffett, that's not the case. After a night of receiving at least 8 hours of sleep, he gets up at 6.45 in the morning to start his day. Considering his age, we can classify Buffett as an early riser. When Tim Cook wakes up in the morning, he immediately checks his mail, but Warren Buffett doesn't do that. Instead, the wealthy investor goes to the refrigerator to get a chilled can of Coca-Cola. According to Buffett, Almost one quarter of his total daily calorie intake comes from sugary soda. Every day, he consumes approximately 5 12 ounce cans each. If you find that surprising, just wait until you hear about Buffett's breakfast. You won't believe it. Buffett's favorite place to grab breakfast is at the McDonald's in the neighborhood. However, it's said that the man is so thrifty that he allows the market to determine his appetite. This is surprising because he has enough wealth to even buy every McDonald's store in his state. During an interview, Buffett was asked about his investment strategy and jokingly responded if the market is performing poorly, he will have the $2.61 breakfast, which consists of two sausage patties. However, he will combine all these together into a single sandwich and take it with a bottle of Coca-Cola. In addition, he stated that when the market is great, he will get the $3.17 bacon and egg and cheese biscuit. But why would Buffett choose to follow such a poor dietary plan? The businessman claimed that he researched actuarial studies and found that the age group with the lowest death rate was 6 years old. As a result, he changed his diet to mimic that of a child of that age. After finishing his meal, Buffett immediately starts to work. You're going to be astounded to learn that on most days, he does nothing more than stay in his office and read the whole day. According to Buffett, most of the reading material he consumes comprises corporate financials, market documents, financial publications, and investor reports. On the other hand, he invests a reasonable amount of his time reading books and newspapers. Buffett would rather read the news than watch it on television, and his favorite newspapers are the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, the Financial Times, and the Omaha World Herald. After giving a speech to a group of recent graduates, he was once asked the key to his success. In response, he took a book and advised the audience to read 500 pages daily. When it comes to his approach to investing, the Oracle of Omaha, also known as the Value Master, lives up to his name. Buffett carefully reads over a company's historical documents, including its financial accounts and reports, going as far back as possible. After that, Buffett examines the company's development and future expansion plans. Before ever settling on a course of action about an investment, the prudent investor engages in some reflective thought. Do you want to know about the luxury lifestyle of other billionaires? Then all you have to do is click on that subscribe button. Let's move on. 
When Buffett is not studying or working, the billionaire plays bridge. He does at least four weekly sessions, lasting about two hours each. That equates to at least eight hours every week. He's developed the talent to point where he usually comes out on top when playing the card game with his close friend Bill Gates. Buffett claims that playing bridge is the most mentally engaging activity and the best kind of brain workout. Buffett plays the ukulele in his spare time. Many audiences have been shocked by his musical passion. He's performed the ukulele in front of investors at charity events and on live television. But what inspired Buffett to learn to play the ukulele? The future billionaire, then 18 years old, spent the summer of 1949 at home after attending college. Prior to his impending transfer to the University of Nebraska, he was enrolled at the University of Pennsylvania. While working two jobs, supervising paperboys in rural areas outside Lincoln, and selling men's furniture part-time at the Omaha J.C. Penney's, Warren Buffett attended summer school. Additionally, he had grown romantically interested with Betty Gallagher. Sadly, Betty already had a partner and wasn't looking for Warren's attention. Warren evaluated his rivals. What was different between him and Betty's boyfriend? He came up with only one answer, a ukulele. So he got a ukulele, taught himself how to play, and serenaded Betty. The outcome? She still chose the other guy. Warren continued to play the ukulele nonetheless, regularly singing along while playing in the J.C. Penney's basement before his shift. His ukulele chops came in handy the following year when he fell for a young Omaha named Susan Thompson. Buffett visited the Thompson home frequently and became friends with Bill, Susan's father. Warren frequently brought his ukulele along when visiting Bill because he played the mandolin. As a result, Steve and Susan became pals and they subsequently fell in love and married. Buffett is known for sticking to his schedule and it irritates him when other people do not respect the time he has set aside for himself. Every day, he leaves the workplace between 5 and 6 p.m., and on his way home from work, he frequently stops for dinner at a restaurant. Buffett asserts that he places a high priority on his rest. Every night, he goes to bed at approximately 10 p.m., reads for approximately 45 minutes, and then falls asleep at approximately 10.45 p.m. In general, Buffett leads an interesting lifestyle that's not overly complicated and is comparable to that of a six-year-old. Despite the obligations that come along with being the most successful investor in the world, Buffett is known for being notoriously cheap despite the fact that he's one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. He avoids purchasing mega mansions, yachts, and super automobiles. For example, despite having billions of dollars, he's used a $20 flip phone for years before finally upgrading to the iPhone 11 last year. Buffett is someone that loves giving, and he's proved that over the years. Since 2006, Warren Buffett has given out more than $37 billion in total from his fortune to a wide variety of charitable organizations and philanthropic institutions, making annual grants in the billions of dollars. One of the recent donations that Warren Buffett made, which totaled $2.9 billion and consisted of 15.9 million Class B shares of Berkshire Hathaway, was distributed to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, as well as four charities associated with the Buffett family. There you have it, Inside the Life of Warren Buffett. Watch our next video on the channel.